Hey there, how's it going? Hello, we're back. Christy? Alonzo? No, it's still breakfast all day. So we played a little bit of catch up. Actually, I made Alonzo play no. catch up. She tried to make me do it, but I was having that. Oh, no. Right. Well, you missed out on a good time at the movies. Also, Matt forgot, but um, I had to go see replicas. And so then I had to go see replicas <laughs> for not, y'all. I could not experience this alone when somebody else had to like vouch for how insane it is. Uh, so I was going to see it, but I had the luxury of sending my replica. replica. Uh, All right, so Alonzo, please try and describe this uh, crazy twist. Okay, so Keanu Reeves is a scientist. <laughs> we're we're just going to start it there. Okay, um, hang on. Yeah. Let's be clear. I, this is not the first time. But that's happened. Do okay. you remember... John Cold... Mnemonic? <laughs> he wasn't a scientist. He was oh. a courier. Do you remember the movie, what was it, the Cold Fusion movie with him and Rachel Weisz where they're escaping the nuclear blast on the motorcycle? Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I don't remember well, the this movie, movie did make me think of John Mnemonic a lot because it's all about brain stuff. And um, he is trying to figure out a way to basically download the memories and and brain uh, activity of recently deceased people into a computer and then putting all that into a robot. And every time he does it, the robots kill themselves uh, because they freak out about being robots. Um, I know. Exactly. It depends on the robot. It might be awesome. (laughs) What are you going to do? So anyway, he is off. This is all happening in Puerto Rico, and uh, which has apparently been untouched by Hurricane Maria. It's pre-hurricane Puerto Rico. Um, Pre-paper towel Puerto Rico. I guess so. (laughs) Anyway, so so then there's a terrible car accident, and his wife and three children are killed, and so of course he decides he's going to save their brains. And then put them into clones that his buddy Thomas Middleditch is going to help him create. And so why did we not call this the man with three brains? Because uh, <laughs> that would be awesome. In his briefcase. Here's yeah. here's, uh, here's the most important thing. Did someone? Because if not, I'm going to write this in a movie about replicants. Did yeah. someone crib the line from uh, Once Upon a Time in Mexico? And does somebody ask one of the robots, "Are you a replicant?" Oh, I uh, no, no. no we, nothing that clever ever occurs in this movie. So here's a movie that deals with all these sort of like, you know, moral dilemmas and ethical questions, to which the movie kind of responds with an eh. Never, <laughs> no, no, no one cares. No one, no one questions anything. It's Never just, at any point in time does anybody behave like an actual human being would in a moment of crisis. Yeah. Right? They behave like robots. Okay, yes. no, just stop. 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 It's basically it's it's it is a it is an expensive version of the brain that wouldn't die in a lot of ways. <laughs> so there's so much wrong with this thing, yet it gets so nutty. It's so insane, like twist after twist and decision after decision, Was and getting deeper and deeper. Alice Eve, oh. whose whose clone manages to have the exact same hairstyle that the human version has. Listen, Alice Eve, who came in and. Talked to a couple of Oh, that's right. Uh, like, I was not on that one. Oh, yeah. She's a babe. She oh. is. Um, and well, she's, a, she's a surgeon in this one. Right. And, and that actually becomes. I let her off it. So, so. Oh, that's right. Yes, it does. Keanu Reeves' car goes like off a cliff in a storm, and that's how they all die. Yeah. Right? Except for him. He's, he walks away unscratched. And he calls Thomas Milditch, who was like his right hand man at the. Cryatorium, whatever the hell yeah. this place is, where they're working on the stuff. Hinky Genetic Lab Inc. It's, it's called something incredibly generic like that. Oh my God. And okay. so good. Bio9. Bio, or something. It's Bio9. And so he called him, and like, wouldn't you freak out if you saw like your buddy's entire family laid out dead, like in a perfect on a riverbank <laughs> on on the edge of the water in the pouring rain? Like, you would panic. You would react in some way in a really intense manner. And he's just like, wow. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really strange. It's, I mean, it's never at any point in time an reaction. Thomas Middleton has my favorite terrible line in this movie, which is like, something terrible could go wrong. <laughs> so he doesn't you know? he, he, many, <laughs> right. many terrible things already have gone wrong. So he agrees to steal like many millions of dollars worth of scientific equipment. Which no Why? one misses because it's all going into Keanu's basement. Right, so he like rolls it out and rolls it into a van and like Keanu creates this whole makeshift 
lab, like Frankenstein lab. But like there's not enough pods to make the whole family. Oh yeah. So not only does he have to like Sophie's choice which one doesn't get brought back, <laughs> he then goes into everybody's brain programs and erases all memory of the other of kids. The person who it's, it, this movie makes no, no okay. sense so whatsoever. Many so many things come out. Like, first of all, it makes me think based on that and all this other times we see people steal equipment in movies, scientific equipment, like there's a great sketch to be made about somebody who teaches villains mm-hmm. how to quickly carry and swipe like scientific equipment. It right? looks heavy. Oh, actually, there is one useful tidbit: is that he goes around to all the cars and all the streets and steals all the car batteries. Because he needs like, a backup generator. Because if the power goes out on the pods, then the right. loads will be they ruined. It's also kind of like speed. Like they can't get below a certain <laughs> temperature or number, or they're all gonna die. It's like speed, but they're paused. So here's the thing: <laughs> Does the movie answer like, okay, so his whole family goes like, does he need to take all the bodies back? Like you? Yes. Me? Oh no 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 no! He tells Thomas Middleditch to get rid of the bodies because oh, right, 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 he right. can't do it. But, he you know, grows saying, the new ones. Right, but I'm saying, do you need to take the bodies back to the lab? Can't you just take the heads? No, 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 he's not. Okay. No, no, he's not doing anything with their bodies. He's growing clones of everybody okay. to then put the computer brain stuff back into. But he takes the brain goo. He takes the brain goo from. Well, the it's not goo. It's it's like, I don't know what's happening there, but material. but it's all it's all it's all saved on these big external dr- discs. Drives, a big oh hard drive, and then he can put one in each person. Here's the thing, though. This movie is not nearly as fun as no. I'm describing it. Like it is, it is more fun to have seen it than it is to watch it because. It is so, it never revs up any kind of stakes. Like, he's doing this, like, bananas stuff. He's tampering in God's domain, as they like to say in old sci-fi movies. And, with like, no one cares. He's not, it's not bugging him at all. And the movie ultimately sort of decides, like, you know, what if we did Frankenstein but with a happy ending? Yeah. You know, and, uh, spoiler, uh, it's, it's... Or is it a happy ending? It's, it's bananas. Or is it? Okay, um, there are many funny things that happen in here. Um, one of them is that John, Boop the mapping sequence. Yeah, he's, so just Keanu being Keanu makes a lot of this really enjoyable. True. Because Keanu is speaking mapping, science. Begin the neural mapping sequence. Do you yeah. concur? I concur. <laughs> There's some weird conversations that happen. John Ortiz is his boss, yes. who is just like an asshole over and over mm-hmm. again, and is just you know on his case. And where's the equipment? And where's mm-hmm. where's the <laughs> robot you promised me that was going to be? Operational. Uh, the board is going to shut you down. It will shock you to learn that perhaps these robots with human brains are not being created for the most for the betterment of mankind. Purposes. It might shock you to learn that. Yeah, I don't know why they're in Puerto Rico. Because they're working Jurassic it's, Park. There's one. You know what? There's one interesting thread here that they pick up and then they just drop, which is that Keanu Reeves has a couple of teenagers, and I wouldn't bring that. They're friends. <laughs> they're friends. Oh right. All are looking for them, like either in their video games, interactive video games, or on text, or on their phones. Like, dude, where are you? Like, where are you? You know, your man's messing around with somebody else. And so he goes on to all the various devices. And he has to respond to chats as his teenage children. He pretend to be his own children, and like he learns things about his kids that he didn't want to know. And like, that's interesting. And then they just completely abandon that notion. Yeah. Also, his wife had, he's pretending to be his wife. He sends an email as his dead wife, pretending to be her, explaining why she hasn't been at work lately. Couldn't he just? That's, have, that's an interesting idea. Couldn't he just created like bots on based on his teenagers? Mm-hmm. That would have been a lot easier, right? Uh, in this movie, it would have been plausible, but uh, yeah, it, this movie just sort of like it, it literally just sort of digs itself into these really bizarre quandaries, and then is not interested in how they are resolved. It's just like yeah, whatever. Keanu, and just, I enjoy Keanu so much, and there's a new John Wick three trailer, which is well, really very out. exciting. We'll, we'll talk about that eventually when the movie comes out. I really like Keanu, but he's like almost too sedate for this. You need increasingly insane, like Nicolas Cage levels yes. of crazy to pull this off and make it as campy as it like. He is the chillest mad be. scientist ever. Somewhere mm-hmm. underneath here is a really insane and very self aware kind of sci fi action thriller, and it never gets to that level. Let's remake this with uh, John Wayne. That'd be fun. <laughs> That'd be really fun. So this is from from my favorite company, Intersta- Entertainment Studios Motion Pictures, which thing. sounds like a, like a, some sort of you know Russian shell company in the <laughs> Antilles, but no, it's a real company. It's Byron, right. it's Byron Allen's company, and there's a teaser for the Forty Seven Meters Down sequel. So which is not called Forty Eight Meters Down. No, it's I know Forty Seven Meters Down and King. It was sitting right there. Come on. So um, this is this is bad, but almost not bad enough. 
So I'm saying 3.2. I said two. It, it's boring, frankly, and and yeah, I, I, I you I was led to believe it would Sorry. be funnier. It's not nice. just not just from you. Other people said it was funnier. Yes, exactly. It, it was not punch and pack. Will you agree that it's nutty though? It is insane. Oh, it's nutty, but it's just dull stuff. Yeah. Okay, so our numbers are two point six. Is it eight? Woo! <laughs> A whopping eight. It's an eight. So there was like a person who took pity on it and mm-hmm. enjoyed it. So yeah. um, replicas. We played catch up with it for you. You're welcome. Uh, follow us at Be Fast All Day on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Uh, leave us a five star review on Apple Podcasts if you're listening to us there, and of course, uh, 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 leave us uh, uh, positive feedback on places that we stream. Everywhere. If you're listening there, like you know Stitcher Radio and. And uh, Spotify and Google and all those places. If you don't like us, we will thank you to keep that feedback. Yeah, that's right. Just shh. If you don't have anything nice to say, come sit by me. (laughs) Thanks.